video related to the Peng Robinson equation of state. We know that the Peng Robinson equation of state belongs to the family of uh, cubic equation of state. This e this equation can can give quite accurate estimate of the properties found in refining, gas processing, and other chemical industry. So this is a very important uh, equation of state. It was provided. It was given in 1976 and uh, it looks like uh, the equation is p is equal to rtv minus b minus a over v square plus 2bv minus ab square we can express this uh, equation in terms of uh, density by defining the density is is equal to the molar density is equal to 1 over v or or in terms of number of moles and the total density total volume we can define this as as number of moles divided by the total volume and the unit is is mole per centimeter cube so when we insert v is equal to 1 over rho we get into this equation now when we uh, now we, we want to express this in terms of uh, the compressibility factor and we know that we can do this fairly easily by noting that for real gas PV is equal to ZRT is the equation that we consider and then uh, in terms of density it will be rho ZRT because uh, V will come in, in this side and, and it is 1 over rho so it will be rho ZRT so now in order to calculate Z we can do is we can divide P by rho R T. So this, uh, keeping in mind, uh, we have this equation. So we are going to divide both side, both left hand side and the right hand side of this equation by rho R T. And when we get go, do this, we will get here P over rho R T, and which we can say that this is equal to Z. And and similarly, our rho R T will get cancelled to get uh, this expression is that. Uh, this expression is the compressibility factor as a function of density and a and b uh, peng robinson has defined a and b such a way that that a is equal to ac multiplied by alpha and this ac is again depends on the uh, the tc and pc and with a with a with a number here 0 0.45 and all uh, it is very important to note that that alpha is a function of uh, tr which is and tr we know that tr is equal to t over tc so alpha is eventually a function of temperature and and this small kappa is also appearing in, in the expression for alpha this kappa is function of omega so we see here that a is a function of temperature as well as omega if you recall in case of van der Waal equation state we were we assume that a is basically constant is it is in fact a was we found that for van der Waal equation of state for it was a is equal to 227 over 64 r square tc square over pc so there is the the a was constant for a given uh, given substance it is tc pc is known so a will be known so here a is a function of temperature and omega now we have this equation in terms of z now we in order to solve this cubic equation of state uh, we do some manipulations by defining some dimensionless parameters this a and b uh, this particular form is chosen for a and b depending on trial and error such that uh, we found that if we calculate a over z it turns out to be a rho over rt we can demonstrate this quite easily that a over z is equal to a p over r square t square and z is equal to p over rho 
R T when, when we, are, we are using this equation here. So now the P P gets cancelled out. R T R T one R T get cancelled out. So eventually we get and the row comes at the top. So eventually get A row over R T and exactly this is the same thing you see here. So similarly I can I can I can show that b over z is in fact b rho why we are interested in b rho and a rho over rt because they are appearing in this equation as it is so b rho and then a over b r t so that's that's the reason why we are looking into that that particular form well now what we do here that we substitute we substitute Let's see b b cancels out so it will be a rho over rt and in place of this we will write a over b and and similarly a over b and then b over z and all this and we uh, in place of b rho we put b over z and in place of a over, a over z we write for now with this uh, we we can do further further manipulations to put in in a in a polynomial form which is much easier to deal with so uh, at this point you can you can pause this video for a while and do yourself and try yourself that 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 will be a much better understanding or learning for you so uh, if now z will be equal to z will be equal to will do quick manipulations and it will be z over z minus b minus and then c b b gets cancels out so it will be a now z is at the denominator so we'll will remove all of them here so a over z over then it is else taking lcm z square plus 2bz minus b square and and there will be one z square here so with this and z z get cancels out so we'll have uh, we will have z is equal to z over and now we can take lcm of this so it will be z square plus uh, 2bz minus b square uh, minus a z z minus b over z square plus 2bz minus uh, b square so with this uh, we move forward and we realize that since z is z z and z common so we can we can just uh, cancel them out to get one is equal to and then we open the bracket and it will be z square plus 2bz minus b square minus a z plus a b over z square plus uh, 2bz uh, minus b square and, and that is uh, sorry i just forgot that z minus b and that is z minus b so with this we can further do the the bracket opening and we get z cube uh, plus 2b z square minus z b square minus uh, b z square minus 2b square z and uh, plus uh, b cube is equal to then we just write it here in the numerator z square plus 2b z minus b square minus a z plus a b now we will collect all the term that is related to in terms of z z cube z square together so that's z cube plus now we look at what are the the expression that has um, that has z square in it so it is it is one we see here and this is another one here and we have another one here so uh, with this we can just quickly uh, uh, we can quickly so it will be bz square 2bz square minus bz square and this minus one comes here so we can just put it as bz square minus z square and then similarly for we are now collecting expression for z 
and this is z and this is z and this is z so we collect them together here so since it's a 2 bz square 2 b square z and z b square so it will be uh, 3 b square z and that is uh, minor uh, then this a z and b z so just uh, let's uh, keep it open so it will be 3 b b square z minus 2 b z uh, plus a z that, that a z will come on the other side so it will be a z uh, plus now uh, we are with the constant term which is b cube and then then there is a b square which will on b square minus a b is equal to zero so with this uh, we can just it will be one minus b z square minus and then we can just put uh, standard form a minus 3 b square minus uh, 2 b z square and then minus uh, minus a b minus a minus a b uh, and then Okay, this should be B square and then this should be B cube minus B square minus B cube. So that's the point here. So with this, uh, you can see this is exactly the equation 7.25 uh, we are dealing with. And now uh, quickly we can we can see how we can solve this uh, this equation and how, what are the ways this can be done quite easily now since this this equation what you see here is is a cubic equation of state in cubic in in z so is a cubic equation in z so we expect three roots for this at all temperature and pressure we expect three roots now now under what circumstances we will get uh, re but in in for engineering applications we are only interested in real roots real means uh, not imagine imaginary or not minus so we are positive real roots we are interested in but if you look carefully for example at this temperature at this condition uh, when the temperature is less than for this curve t is less than tc so at this case you see three roots here here and here but so we know that this is for vapor and the smallest one for liquid but you see it is between this range that we are getting three roots so this range of pressure is called three uh, root region if uh, pressure is slightly above this uh, let's say here then we will get only one liquid root if the pressure is is here if the pressure is is here then we get we get only one root one vapor root okay so that's those two region above this and and below this is called one root region now when we are looking at uh, and can we predict whether uh, how we are going to get three roots or one root we can do this by simple uh, expression here we are expressing fz the function of z uh, which is exactly the the function we are this is function of z so entire equation i'm writing as fz so when we are doing this if pressure uh, you see only when temperature is less than t critical we will get a hump like this for t less than tc if the temperature is higher than t t is greater than tc we will not get anything any hump like this uh, if we are dealing with this now when p is equal to p sat 
p is equal to p sat will be when that when this hump above and below are equal we will learn this in the in the next chapter but just to get an idea that the p sat will be at the pressure where this is exact this area is above the loop so that p is equal to p sat so in this case it will be uh, the z for liquid saturated and the, this one will be the uh, z uh, vapor saturated and this one is meaningless as we said now if when the pressure is greater than p sat let's say the pressure is here then uh, then we will get only one root which is very small say this so we can say that this is liquid oh, sorry this is uh, this is liquid root now when the temperature is pressure is very very low compared to the p sat that means we are in in this zone so we will get only one root which is very high value so you can see is between 0.8 to point 0.8 to 1 so this is going to be 0. let's say 9 or something so that's indication that that it is vapor phase it is vapor and now when t is above uh, tc so we'll get only one root for any conditions that is super critical super critical so that's all for this uh, short video and uh, i hope you understood little bit see you in another uh, video. Thank you very much.